Hi everybody, it's Miranda and today we are going to be talking about going to the bathroom. <laughs> um, yeah, so some potty talk today. I know a lot of people have issues with like irritable bowel syndrome, um, constipation, stuff like that and it's not really a topic that a lot of people like to discuss. Um, and a lot of people also don't know what's going on with them and it's kind of an embarrassing subject. So I am going to talk a little bit about my experience but most of it is in my anxiety video. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get into it. So after a long time, I used to have like constipation problems since I was like 14. I bloat like I am six months pregnant even just after eating an apple, had no idea what was going on, and then I'd have to, like, I'd go to the hospital and see if, like, my body was working properly or something like that. Um, they got me to cut out a lot of different kinds of foods just to see what is acting up in my belly. Uh, none of that really helped, and it took a long time for me to realize it's actually anxiety uh, messing up my gut and making me not digest well or go to the bathroom properly. Um, an experience I had, I went traveling a while ago and when I came back, like I was constipated for two full weeks, I could not go to the bathroom at all. I went to the hospital and I was treated pretty poorly. <laughs> um, the doctor there was pretty rude and told me to just go home and stop using laxatives to lose weight. Uh, pretty much just because I'm a chick and that's what he thought was happening but I used three different laxatives to try and get myself to go after a week and a half and they weren't working and yeah the doctor just sent me home and told me to stop taking laxatives for weight loss and to eat some fiber and obviously that wasn't working so I ended up going to a different hospital and then they helped me out. It's mainly from anxiety and after having like vaginismus and stuff uh, that's in my vaginismus video, <laughs> but I had a really good physiotherapist for down there, and she was really helpful. She helped me with a lot of things, and uh, got me back to being normal. Um, but yeah, she was the one who actually helped me with my constipation issue as well. And so I have this sign in my bathroom. A lot of people don't know why, and I haven't really explained it. Um, it was just this piece of paper tacked up to my wall that was printed off from my uh, physiotherapist. But I decided to put it on some nice paper and kind of make like a piece of art that I can put in a picture frame. So we will go over this. Don't mind my messy hair. It's the morning and it's quarantine, so I'm in my PJs. Um, but yeah, so it is airbags and potty talk. I'm going to read it off to you quickly here, uh, and then we'll get into it. So, this is airbag meditation. You're acting like your belly is an airbag. Um, in this crazy, rushed world of today with so many things on the go and multitasking as the norm, how do we find time for ourselves? Our lives can use some nurturing and face the day with a fresh and calm force from within. So, I like this a lot because it goes deep into my past, I guess, and growing up. But we all go potty, so use that time to relax. Whether it's in a library, or you're at the gym, or you're at your friend's house, work, just your home bathroom. You need to be calm. <laughs> if you're not calm, you're not going to go properly, and you might not go at all. Uh, when I was younger, I was embarrassed to go to the bathroom at other people's houses because I didn't want them hearing me go to the bathroom. I didn't want them to know I was like taking a shit or something. <laughs> um, but everyone goes. It's not like chicks don't go. Uh, like everyone farts, everyone pees, everyone poops, everyone barfs, burps. Just because you're a chick doesn't mean you don't do that. Like the hottest actress or model in the whole world has a massive dump every once in a while so, <laughs> so uh, yeah that helped me a lot so we all go potty so use that time to relax 
and there are six steps. So this is mainly if you're having a hard time actually going or you have a hard time relaxing while you go to the bathroom. So the first one is aware, second is imagine, third is release, fourth is breathe, five is allow, and six is gratitude. So being aware is sit with your feet apart, um, arms, forearms resting on your thighs. You must sit fully to relax. So if need be, put toilet paper on the seat, uh, raise knees above the hips, use a, like, use a stool to put your feet up. Uh, a lot of the time I forget to put the garbage can back, but if there's a garbage can in the bathroom, I will put it in front of me and then I'll put my feet up. I've seen this one chick on YouTube, she actually s stands on the toilet and squats. I think that is weird. I don't do that, um, but I do put my feet up. Uh, it helps you like relax better and I don't really know but there's a lot of scientific discussion on the internet about when your legs are like this, like this is your body and your legs are up like this, um, the flow kind of, I can't explain it, I don't know how it works but it works. Um, imagine, so focus on the process of your pelvic floor letting go. So your urethra, anus opening, bladder, bowel emptying. So just release your pelvic floor, close your eyes. Um, so yeah, three is release. So let tension in the pelvic floor, hips, back, thighs, and feet let go. Breathe. So this is another problem. A lot of us forget to breathe and try to forcefully go to the bathroom and push. <laughs> um, but breathe in through your nose, out through your relaxed mouth, fill your ribs and diaphragm moving with uh, the breath and don't force the air. So even with exercise um, or just like walking, a lot of people breathe with their chest like, <sighs> but that doesn't work out your diaphragm and your diaphragm is really important. So belly breathing uh, keeps your core strong and keeps it mobile and that is how you properly breathe. A lot of people exercising forget to do that as well. Um, and when you breathe through your diaphragm you get the most out of your workout. I want to mention that belly breathing I didn't even know existed until like a few years ago when I started going to physiotherapy. I am used to like breathing with my chest. The main reason is that I would always suck in my belly. I was insecure about showing off my belly. So I'd always suck in, even like laying down with someone, I would half the time hold my breath <laughs> or try and breathe very slowly so that my belly wouldn't inflate. And my therapist was the one who was like, you need to be confident, like show off your belly. Um, bellies are in now and it actually helps your diaphragm. And I'm like, okay, well if belly breathing will help me get like pain free, then I guess I should start doing it and it took a long time to actually start belly breathing because my body was so used to breathing with my shoulders and my chest but it is very important and show off your belly. Five is allow so trust your body will do what it needs to do sometimes we get in the way and try to take control our body knows how to breathe and it knows how to pee and poop. Like it knows what to do. You just have to trust it and let it do its job. I've noticed that a lot too. When I don't push and I just relax and just think that my body is working properly, I go no problem. I used to have constipation problems since I was 14 and it lasted until about three years ago. And I haven't had constipation since. Um, it's just because like, I was so tense and anxious or if I ate something like I think I would get constipated or something. Um, and gratitude, so yeah, um, thank your body for doing a good job and doing what it's supposed to do. It actually is an important job and a lot of the time we take it for granted. So be thankful for that and if you can't go just relax, don't stress out about it because it's going to make it worse. It's kind of like your skin. If you're stressed out about breaking out, you're most likely going to break out more. Um, 
and just be thankful for at least one thing every day. Even if you're having like a really negative day and your day is not going well, there's always something to be thankful for and grateful for. So at the bottom here, yeah, so it's no straining, connect, and relax. So I'd like to mention that the lady who came up with this um, is Shelly Prosco. I think I'm saying it right. But yeah, I want to give her credit because her airbags and potty talk actually helped me out. And I just want to get it out there that I know it's like an embarrassing thing or if you have irritable, irritable bowel syndrome, it's a topic that you don't really like to talk about. But I have it posted up in my bathroom and when I go to the bathroom, I look at it and then it reminds me to relax. So yeah, just a little insight on how I go to the bathroom and what helps me. So you can look it up on Google and check it out for yourself. Try it out. And I hope you get your problems uh, figured out and know that you're not alone. Have a good day.